<laughs> Why, Robinson? You were supposed to be the one to stay clean. After all you've done for the community, this, this, no, you, no. You were supposed to be the one player not to do steroids, man. Why? So many years looking up to you, so many little kids want to be just like you, and you have to betray us like that? Why, Robinson? The Yankee organization, the entire Dominican Republic, and this, this is how you repay your fans? I, I, I can't believe it. No one's safe. Everyone in baseball is doing steroids. I just, I don't... Yeah, couldn't have been a better time to be raining in Florida, huh? All right, so I'm gonna get a couple things out of the way. First, first of all, I gonna give some facts and then I'm gonna give my opinions on the matter when it comes to Robinson Cano. Fact number one, I am a huge Yankee fanboy. Number one, number two, I'm a huge Robinson Cano fan and a huge Team Dominican Republic baseball fan. So let, let's get that out of the way. So today, May 15, MLB came out with the fact that Robinson Cano had tested positive for a banned substance and is suspended for 80 games. All right, when you hear banned substance in sports, the first thing you hear is performance enhancing drugs or steroids. Neither of those are the case. Now, I believe I may be mispronouncing this. Uh, say hello to my friends. Uh, I do believe Cano tested positive for furosemide. Now, like I said, furosemide is neither a PED or a steroid. What it is, is it's a diuretic. It's, it's used as an actual ailment, ailment to, to heal certain things. I think it's used to treat kidney issues, heart issues, Things like that, but th there's a reason he got suspended. Now here's the thing, performance enhancing drugs, steroids, I, there, there's a confusion mostly of, amongst young kids, the, the next generation on what these things actually do. PEDs and steroids will never make you a good baseball player. That is 100% fact. And I always use this one example. There's two brothers who both were uh, caught using steroids. One named Jason, one named Jeremy, both Giambi. One, one had Hall of Fame class, the other one not so much, even without the steroids. Steroids will never make you a better player. Now the one thing it will let you do is it'll allow you to work harder. It, it's, it's basically a glorified protein shake. Now for those of you who don't understand, be very thankful for Bud Selig who a couple decades ago swept steroids under the rug for a little while and uh, allowed the sport not to die. So if you love baseball, be thankful for Bud because that's why baseball is still in existence. Without Bud it wouldn't be, but then he, he turned his back on everyone and threw them all under the bus. So what exactly is a diuretic? And I'll just read the dictionary version, it's just a causing increased passing of urine. So what that means is that the MLB didn't find PEDs or steroids in Robinson Cano's system, but they did find a diuretic, so the assumption is uh, you're trying to hide that you took something else. So basically he got suspended for possibly taking something and hiding it. So I tweeted this out and I kind of forgot to put this in, but that's like me, Jivy, or Javon basically being arrested. I know I'm being extreme, but that's like me basically being arrested for putting Visine in my eyes because there's a potential chance that I was doing it to clear my eyes because I was smoking or something like that. Basically on a substance that shouldn't even be illegal in the first place, but that's neither here nor there. Now at 35 years old, Robbie was having a pretty damn good season for a 35 years old, maybe five years left in his career before Cooperstown. There's an asterisk next to that now. But what as good of a season as he was having, people are definitely gonna say steroids now, and I'm getting poured on. Is it possible that Cano is on PEDs or steroids? Absolutely. I honestly believe there's a lot more athletes on PEDs than we know, and that's, that sounds like a fact. I want to say this as subjectively as possible, but I know it's literally not possible. Do I think that Cano is on PEDs? I want to say no, but I can't say that with absolute certainty. Now, do I think that you as an athlete should be putting steroids into your body? Let me make this clear. I don't condone it. Now, for those of you who know me know that I'm pretty honest and pretty open about a lot of, a lot of things in my life. I, I can tell you this with absolute certainty. Never once in my career in my life have I ever taken any steroids or PED drugs. Performing enhancing drugs drugs. But I have been in a high school, college, and, and then some locker room, and I know what people are putting into their bodies. I personally don't have a problem with steroids, mainly because I see baseball from, from not the love of the, I do, but not for the love of the game side, but more from the business slash entertainment industry. It is a sport that I want to watch and be entertained. There, there's a reason why ratings for football games are what they are with just 16 games a season. And in a 162 game season, which by the way is just insane for, for any athlete to compete for 162 games in about 180 days, where mo most off days are still practice days. Baseball for the average person, 
is a very boring sport. Now for those of you diehard old school people who say, well, if you're not smart enough to understand baseball, then maybe watch another sport. That is the exact same thinking that a couple days, decades ago nearly killed the sport. Now I love baseball. I love watching the pitching do it just as much as the next guy, but I'm gonna be honest, sometimes a one run ball game gets very, very boring. For the average fan, no one's gonna watch a one one a, you know, 1-1 one, one baseball game into the ninth inning. Not everyone understands pitch location and all that other stuff. So all the minor details in baseball. Some people just want to be entertained and that's perfectly fine. And, and if that's the case, if I'm not going to watch a 1-1 one, one game, I'd much rather flip on to the NFL Network and watch a quarterback throw a high pass to a wide receiver uh, who gets decapitated by two linebackers who uh, destroy his body as he is in midair because his QB left him to dry. <gasps> I'm human, I'm American, and I'm barbaric. That's just science, don't blame me. I personally think, bring the Coliseum back. But, but just not slaves and like, you know, it, it'd be a choice kind of thing. Some of the most fun time in baseball was literally the Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa era. Why they are not at the top of the Hall of Fame is beyond me because without them, who knows where baseball would be right now. But again, these were guys who actually, I believe tested for steroids, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know because nowadays you don't even have to test for steroids to receive a suspension because there's so many banned substances. And that's the whole case Robinson Cano is trying to make is that he did not know that what he took was a banned substance. It was given to him by a licensed, uh, licensed doctor in Dominican Republic for other health reasons. And it just happened to be a diuretic and is on a banned substance list. Again, do I 100% buy it? No. But do I think that at 35 years old in about a dozen seasons in the major leagues, do I think this, this should ruin his case for being on the Hall of Fame? Absolutely not. I, I think, yes, it's very possible that he took steroids, but that is not proven. Uh, and so unless you prove to me that someone took a steroid, I, I just don't believe that they should be banned from Can from Cooperstown. I almost said Canton. Now, Cano did test positive for the diuretic over the summer during spring training, and uh, I kind of had a feeling that he was going to admit to this at the time. I'm not going to divulge my sources, uh, but I kind of already knew. Uh, that he was appealing this and as soon as he got hurt and he got hit in the hand I said I know he's going to admit to this uh, just because it makes sense it's, it's it's pretty much he's going to be serving most of his suspension while he's injured so it, it just kind of makes sense to just not appeal it and then be suspended next season if they do uh, deem that he was guilty uh, but anyways I did tweet out I said you know as soon as it happened I said I my, my hats goes out to Mariners fans they just go through so much it, it seems like this, this might have been a good year, but uh, I think this this will definitely hurt. Uh, but anyways, I've dragged this video on far too long. Uh, all I got to say is, you know, free, free my boy Cano and Bandana Jimmy out. Peace.